Hey everybody, so I recently went shopping down in Seattle and when I was there I hit up a few drugstores and I came across one of the new Maybelline color tattoos. I think it's the spring line, I'm not sure what the line is called, but this one color was absolutely stunning. It totally called out to me, it's absolutely one of my favorite colors and I already love the Maybelline color tattoos. They're um, cream eyeshadows, but when I saw this color I just could not pass it up. The color I'm talking about is Caramel Cool and it is stunning. It is a coppery, orangey kind of caramel color and it's very metallic and it is just absolutely beautiful. This is by far my favorite color tattoo that I own. I'll swatch it for you really quick. So I was really excited to get it and play around with it. There's the color there. I'll try and show you from different angles. But yeah, very creamy, very metallic-y, super easy to work with. So I've actually been playing around with it a number of different ways. I'm wearing it right now. And I thought I would do a video showing you three different ways that I found that I like to wear it. Okay, so for both these eye looks, they are starting off exactly the same way. So I thought I would do one look on one eye and one on the other. And I'm just going to start with the concealer. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Erase Dark, Dark Circles. I use this under my eyes, but I also like to use this on my eyelids. I'll zoom you in here just to cancel everything out. Um, and it acts as a really nice base. So I'm just going to take that and apply it all over my eyelid, right up into my eyebrow. Next I'm going to use this color Adagio. This is the Bon, bon, bon Jovi palette and this is just like a, just a nude color. You could use any nude color. Just taking a really large brush and I'm going to place the color all over exactly where I put the concealer down. Just to make sure the concealer doesn't crease and to act as a really nice matte base for the rest of the look. The eyeshadow I'm using for this look is very basic because I want the color tattoo to be the main focus. So I'm just going to put a little bit of brown in the crease. This is the same palette, the color Allegro. It's just a really warm tone, kind of medium brown. And again, you can use any brown for this. It's just going to give my eye a little bit of um, shape and contour. I'm using the Sigma E25 blending brush. I'm just going to very lightly place a little bit of this brown in the crease. Alright, now for both these looks, I'm going to be using just the color tattoo, obviously, and then this brown eyeliner. It's dark brown from Stila. It's the Stay All Day and Let It Zoom In waterproof liquid eyeliner pen. So these are the two products I'm going to be using, and I'm going to be using them slightly different on both eyes. I'm going to start off with my right eye here, and I'm going to take the color tattoo. And then I'm going to be taking this brush here. It's the Sigma Eyeliner E05 brush. It's just got a very fine tip to it. And I'm going to be placing that into the color tattoo and making a wing eyeliner on my top lash line. I'm going to be making it a little bit thicker than usual because I want it to peek out the top of the dark brown eyeliner that I'm going to place underneath. I just find it's easier to do this first and then a smaller dark brown line than um, putting down the dark brown line and trying to trace over top with this. just find it's a cleaner look. So there's the eyeliner there. I just winged it out like I would a normal black or dark brown eyeliner and made it quite a bit thicker than a normal eyeliner. I'm just gonna let that set for a little bit. Alright, next thing I did is I took this brown eyeliner and I placed a really thin line just close to my lash line, also winging it out the same way I did the color tattoo. So it's not as high up, it's not as thick as the color tattoo was, but it's just really, really close to my lash line so that the color tattoo peeks out right above the top. I also added a nude eyeliner to the um, waterline just to kind of brighten it up. This one here is from Rimmel. So that's what that eye looks like. Alright, so for this next look, I'm doing a little bit of the reverse. I'm going to start with this Stila Dark Brown Eyeliner, and I'm going to place that just like I normally would on my top lash line, and giving it a bit of a wing. Alright, now using that same fine eyeliner brush from Sigma and the color tattoo, I'm going to grab some of that, and this time I'm just going to place it on my lower lash line. So starting right in the inner tear duct corner, I'm just going to follow exactly kind of where my eyelashes grow in. That's the line that I'm going to follow. I'm also going to take it just in this 
outside corner and place a little bit right underneath the wing of the flower. Alright, so that's what that looks like underneath that eye there. I'm actually going to add some brown um, eyeliner and this one's scandalized from Will. And I'm going to tight line to fill in this gap of skin color here so it brings it more together. And I'm going to also add it to my inner waterline. Alright, I look a little bit funky now, but now that both eyes are done, I'm going to curl my eyelashes. Then I'm going to apply some mascara. This is the Jordana Dust Lash Extreme. Alright, and here's the eye finished with the color tattoo on the top lash line. So that's what that one looks like. This is probably my favorite. It's just a pop of copper, so I think it looks really pretty. And then over here is the one with the copper underneath. A really nice pop of color. I like doing this with the um, teal color eyeliner or color tattoo I have as well. I just think it looks really pretty. So that's what that looks like. Okay, so for this look, I'm going to be using the color tattoo along with the Naked Basics palette. And I'm going to start off by placing the color tattoo all over my lid. You can use your finger or a brush, whatever is easier. I'm just going to take some on my finger and apply it to just the lid portion of my eyelid, not going past the crease. Next I'm going to take the color Naked 2, which is a more of a cool tone light brown color. Um, I like doing this with a cool tone rather than a warm tone brown just because the eye um, color tattoo is already such a warm tone. I feel like it's too much. So I like to take more of a cool tone. I'm just going to take a little bit on, this is the E25 shader brush. I'm just going to place it into the crease right above where the color tattoo stops. I'm also going to take a little bit and just add it on the outer V portion here. Just add a little bit of depth. I'm also going to end up connecting it underneath the eye a little bit on this outside edge. Now I'm going to take this highlighting shade Venus here on a flat shader brush. And I'm going to place it onto the um, inner tear duct corner of my eyes just to brighten it up in there. I'm also going to take just a tiny bit and place it right underneath my brow. Now I'm going to take the color tattoo one last time and just add a little bit more on top of my lid because I lost a little bit of the intensity while I was blending. So just kind of to the center part of my lid here, just brightens it up a little bit, makes it a little bit more metallic. Now I'm taking this brown eyeliner from Rimmel and I'm going to tight line and also line my lower waterline. And then lastly, I'm just curling my eyelashes. I'm going to put on some mascara. I'm going to be using the Essence I Love Extreme Mascara. Alright, so I have my mascara on now and here is what the finished eye looks like with the color tattoo all over the lid. A little bit of brown in the crease. This is probably one of my favorite ways to wear it, although I do really like it above the eyeliner as well. But yeah, it just, especially if you have green eyes, it really makes the contrast and makes them pop. So this is definitely one of my favorites. This is a very long wearing product. Um, it's held up for eight plus hours at work, no problem at all. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed these three looks. Let me know in a comment down below which one was your favorite. And I think that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.